We are here at Sun and Fun. I'm Dan Johnson, and I'm speaking today with Art Tirola, one of the two gentlemen in the United States with Steve Minich, your partner there, uh, to uh, represent the Effector line in the USA. And you've got some new offerings that you can bring to people who want to buy a Harmony or a Sports Star. Tell me a little bit about what the new offerings are, Art. Well, one of our new offerings is the IS engine, the road tax fuel injected engine. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Really, really nice that engine. Now. Yeah, I really, uh, I was going to lead off with that one, but because I, I, I'm most excited about that one. Great. Um, I got a chance to fly it back from Florida in January, and uh, at full cruise we burnt 4.2 gallons. <laughs> at full, so, at full at speed. At full speed, right? yeah. And that was uh, about an 800 mile yeah, test. So that was very, very. So you exciting. became convinced about about the value of that fuel injected engine. Well, yes, absolutely. Now, I suppose with a new order, it'll be the IS Sport now, which it has is. a little more juice to it, a little more torque capability. So, yeah, Rotax uh, made a uh, change to the induction system on the engine so that it can get more air through it, so that it's uh, more air and more power, right? Develop the torque that it needs uh, in the areas of RPM where it needs it. Yeah, so, but without harming that great fuel efficiency that it also offers, correct? Absolutely. So that's a nice combination. More power, no more fuel. How can you go wrong with that kind of deal? One of the best things they did is the engines that are out there now, they're offering the retrofit kit to this uh, new induction box for free. Beautiful. Uh, you, you'll have to pay for the labor to put it on, but they're giving it parts for free, so that's a nice... Nice well, you might have an application for that because I know you guys at Sebring just a couple of months ago took some orders. Yes, yes, which is always encouraging. We like to see our vendors in the business succeed and customers to get happy. So, what what did you sell down there at Sebring? Art? Well, actually, at Sebring we sold two airplanes that uh, are very exciting. One was with the IS engine. Okay. Uh, the other airplane we sold was an IFR version. So we put the certified engine in there. The Rotax doesn't have quite have a certified. In a fuel injection engine. Yeah, right. sure. Well, that's all. Certified means a lot of extra paperwork and proving, and it takes it'll a take a little more time. time. Yeah. But you're one of the few companies that actively supports IFR in these aircraft, and you and I have flown together in the Evector. It's a nice platform for IFR flying and very comfortable, but with the right equipment in it, you you can go. People don't always understand that, because a sport pilot, the certificate, the pilot license side cannot do IFR, but the airplane can. Right? Yeah, the airplane can fly at night, it can fly over 10,000 feet, and it can fly IFR, and you can go along with it if you have the right ratings and your current. Right, you just have to have a little different rating, but uh, the airplane has always been capable, and you have sold that kind of equipment in the past. It took another so You have a really, really nice airplane that's capable of doing very many things, but you can still fly it as a sport pilot, so that's a really great thing. Well, let's talk about for both sport pilots and for IFR qualified pilots, you're going to have some new stuff in the panel now for uh, for both those pilots as well. Tell us a little bit about that, Art. The Dynon equipment is uh, just going out of sight with uh, the new uh, stuff that they're doing. Uh, they have now a touchscreen came out, which is really good for those who want to touch. Uh, they did it right. Uh, it's a touchscreen, but they kept the knobs and buttons that you would need. In, uh, in case you're kind of bouncing around a little bit, in a little air. bit of moving air, yeah, yeah. But the so, touch screen is great, but if it, the air is not still, it can be sometimes a little challenging to hit the right spot. And they have so much that's in their panel. You can remotely mount the radio. You can remotely mount the transponder. You can remotely mount ADS-B, and everything's in there, but you don't see it, so it's not taking up any panel real estate. So if you could have two full-size screens on both sides, and the whole center stack of the radio of the uh, airplane. And so you can put your iPad in there or your video player or whatever else you want to put in there. <laughs> Great stuff, and I know their new uh, touchscreen, for example, and, and thinking of an IFR pilot, which can sometimes get a little busy. Uh, we'll come back to autopilots in a minute, but just on that screen, uh, it can talk directly to the radio so that you don't have to go back and forth. You can keep your focus on where you need to be yeah, and absolutely. just touch that. And so, uh, for example, on the top bar, your radio stations are actually on that screen, so you don't have to look down and to the right at a radio to see what they are. Uh, you can do your flip-flop back and forth. You can get the information on your screen, press the button, and automatically tune your radio to the frequency that you need. Beautiful. Um, by the word tower or ground, 
so you wouldn't have to look at numbers. It's just amazing. Yeah, it's just doing. things that uh, reduces the pilot workload, increases his or her accuracy while flying, and uh, and that makes for certainly easier IFR operations. But just for a sport pilot on a pretty day, um, you should be looking outside the aircraft, watching for traffic. Absolutely. Uh, but you can also see something about traffic on the screens, can't you? That's true. The uh, ADS-B gives you traffic. Uh, has complete a picture of the traffic as you'll ever get because it's taking it from several sources, not just the transponder of another airplane. And not just my old eyes either. Well, that's true. It's that's still true. important to look outside. Can't just look at the instruments, folks, but well, our airspace is very complicated these days. It is. It's it's nice. Especially around pubs, of course. That's yes. where it gets busy. Middle of uh, the country somewhere flying along XE, you might not have much traffic, but when you get to the airport, there's going to be stuff. In my experience and with their actually, screen, in the I middle usually of the... see it on screen before I see it out the window. Yeah. yeah. So I get independent verification then of my own eyes. I've and actually been on the ground and saw traffic 35 miles away <laughs> on the screen. So, yeah. Pretty you know cool. you're not going to see 15 miles away. And that service is free. Well, you have to pay something to have the equipment in, although it's not particularly expensive. No, it's we not. once thought ADSB was going to be so expensive. $20,000 per airplane and numbers like that. It's dramatically less than that. It depends on the actual airplane. Yeah, there's thanks a range the, of $1,000 or so. Yeah, thanks to the certification process with the light sport, we don't have to get real heavy and expensive in the certification process. And this stuff really comes in quickly and at a good cost. Okay, so new engine, new stuff in the panel, ADSB, some cool things. If somebody says, wow, I'm impressed, sign me up, how soon could they get that? Uh, the airplanes, if they take delivery today, we'll put the order in tomorrow morning and you will have your airplane delivered in 90 days. 90 days, okay, great. The Vector is a company that's been around for many, many years, 60 some years, is that about right? Yeah, that's about right. And uh, has a range of airplanes, they're uh, based in a part of the uh, Czech Republic that's very aviation aware, a lot of good talent there as well. And so here's a company that you can rely on in a trustworthy airplane that now comes with all the right equipment. Yeah. In, other, in other countries in the world, 40-odd uh, countries in the world, these airplanes are certified airplanes, and uh, they'll fly them with constant speed props and so forth. So they've got a lot of engineering maturity in these airplanes. Excellent stuff. That's a lot of great, great information, Art. Thanks so much. Uh, give us a web address that we'll put up on the screen. Uh, where people can get even more information and then reach out to you and to Steve. Okay, well you can get uh, the information about my company at www.abflight.com. And how about Steve's company? Steve Minnick is uh, www.midwestsportaviation.com. And Evector? And Evector is www.evector-aircraft.com. Okay, great. We'll put them all up on the screen, and uh, you can get more information about the Evectors, uh, several of their models, videos, and information about lots of different aircraft in the light aircraft space on bydanjohnson.com or bydanjohnson.com. Thanks a lot for joining Art Tirola and me here at Sun and Fun.